Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson four, the area of all triangles using type and base. All right, so this class works as opening exercise, draw and label the altitude of each triangle below. Now keep in mind that the altitude is the line that we draw that is perpendicular to the base. So here is my base down here. And so therefore it is horizontal and I want to draw a line that is perpendicular, which means it's going to form a 90 degree angle with the base. So my altitude is going to be right here. And when I move my ruler, this is the altitude and I will label it with a square to let you know that it is perpendicular. So there's my altitude. Okay. B. This is already a right triangle and the base is horizontal. The height is vertical already. So my height is actually right there. Okay, this is my height, my altitude, and that is the right angle that's marking it. Okay, but now we come across this scenario here and we have a triangle that is not acute, it is obtuse. And the way it's stretched over to one side, I can't draw an altitude because if I draw a line from this angle here up, say right here, that is not the height of the triangle right here. The triangle goes up to here. So I'm not high enough. That is not the altitude. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. So what I need to do is come over to the highest point, which is right here and draw a line vertical or straight down. And I'm just going to go a little bit beyond my base and then I'm going to rotate my ruler so that it says zero degrees, which means it's horizontal. And I'm going to line up my base. So now I'm going to extend my base out like so. And then when I move my ruler, what I have created is a triangle outside that is perpendicular. So this is my height. So the height of the triangle is the top straight down to the ground. Okay, so if you're up in Tuscany and this is the Leaning Tower of Pisa, then from here straight down to the ground is the height of Pisa, the tower. Okay. All right. Number one, exploratory challenge. Exercises one through five. Use rectangle. Use rectangle X in the triangle with the altitude inside triangle X to show that the area formula of the triangle is area equals one half base times height. Step one, find the area of rectangle X. Okay. Okay, so when they say use rectangle X in the triangle with the altitude inside triangle X to show that the area formula for the triangle is area equals one half base times height, then step one, it says find the area of the rectangle. So I do have these rectangles in what they're talking about. So here is the rectangle X. So what they want us to do is measure that. So let me copy that into here so I can open my ruler up. So just give me one second. Okay, so if I bring in this rectangle, okay, here's rectangle X copied from the page at the end in the teacher edition. And so what this problem is saying is, Use rectangle X and the triangle with the altitude inside triangle X. I'll bring that in in a minute to show that the area formula of the triangle is one half base times height. So they have this triangle here, a rectangle here, and they have a triangle, and I'll bring that in. Okay, so I'm not going to do this problem, the exploratory challenge. It's become too much of a challenge for me to do electronically. Um, so. What they want me to do is this, I brought this in from the end of the teacher edition and it's actually um, a cutout for the students to do in class. But it won't, it's too large on my computer because now if I bring in my ruler, um, the ruler can measure the width, no problem. But when I rotate it this way, I, don't have 
the, the ruler. Actually, I could do it. I can extend the ruler. But it's just too tedious here. What it was asking to do is draw a vertical here, the altitude and so on. I will leave this to just in class and I'm going to continue with the video. Um, I'm going to start with and using rectangle Y is the same thing and rectangle Z. So all these ex 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 exercises are with the cutouts and there was a hands-on activity. So I'm going to continue to exercise six through eight and just do the mathematical portion and leave the hands-on stuff to class. So this says to calculate the area of each triangle and it says figures not drawn to scale. So they have already drawn the base. They've extended the base out to the point where it is right below the vertex of this triangle up here and they drew an altitude or a height directly down perpendicular to the base showing this as a 90 degree angle. So area equals one half base times height. In this case you have to be careful. The base is from here to here. The triangle does not extend over here. This was just used to find the altitude or the height. So the base is 24 inches. So I'm going to write A equals one half times 24 inches times the height. So I'm not using this diagonal here. I do not use the 10 inches. I do not use the 6 inches. I'm only using the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle, which is 8 inches. Okay. And remember, when we're dividing by 2, we might as well take an even number and make it smaller before we go bigger. So I'm going to take half of 24, so those cancel, and I get 12 inches. And 8 times 12 is 96. Inches times inches is inches squared. So the area is 96 inches squared. Okay, number 7. Same thing. This is my base right here, B. This is my height over here. H. I don't care about this side. It does not give me any information in finding the area. Step one, write the formula. Step two, substitute in your givens. The base is 12 and three quarter feet. I'm going to convert this to a mixed fra or an improper fraction. Four times 12 is 84 plus three is 87 divided by four feet times the height, which is nine and one half feet, which is 19 halves feet. Okay, so when I'm dealing with fractions, I just multiply straight across. One times 87 is 87 times 19. Open up my calculator, 87 times 19 is 16, 1,653. So it's 1,653 feet squared divided by 2 times 4 is 8 times 2 is 16. So I'm going to go back and get my calculator and take that answer that I got and divide it by 16. And I get 103 for the remainder. So the area equals 103 and some sixteenths. So I need to find out what that sum sixteenths is. So if I just do the point three one two five, and ask my calculator what that is as a fraction, it's going to tell me it is five sixteenths feet squared. Okay, not all of you are going to have, or if maybe not any, have a TI eighty four calculator, but that's okay. It's actually better that you do it without the calculator. I'm just saving time for this video. Everybody should be able to divide this in. 16 goes into 16 once. It won't go into 5, but it will go into 53 three times with the remainder of 5, and that's how you get that 5 16 Number 8 says draw three triangles, acute, right, and obtuse, to have the same area. Explain how you know they have the same area. Okay. This is interesting. I like this question. It makes you think. So I'm going to draw three triangles. I'm going to use a ruler so it's accurate. Okay, so here's 
my ruler. I'm going to use the centimeter side, and I'm going to draw a base of three centimeters. I'm going to make the base the same for all three triangles. So I'm going to draw three triangles that have a base of three. Okay, and then finally one more, a triangle with a base of three. So there's three bases, three. Okay, let's just say 3CM. Three 3CM. Three Three C M. It says draw three triangles. Acute. Okay, so when I draw an acute triangle, if I want the heights to be the same, then I want them to be at the same altitude. So the easiest way to do this is just to draw an altitude here. And if I put a dot here, then this angle and this angle and this angle form an acute triangle. If I come straight up from this side here and put a dot, that will be a 90 degree angle. And if my height is outside my base over here, then that is going to create an obtuse angle over here. All right, so now I'm going to put my ruler at the beginning left end of my base rotate it up until I get to that dot I drew. Okay, it doesn't rotate right on the edge. All right, so let me just rotate it a little bit so it lines up. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to draw a line from here to here. Rotate it. So I have a you need to be patient when it comes to these. Math is all about patience and accuracy. There is an acute triangle with the same height going up. Okay, and I'm going to explain that in a moment. So now let me switch to green. Make it 90 degrees. Draw a line straight up to here. That is 90 degrees. Don't let me write it with the ruler there. I'll come back. Rotate it so my okay, like so, and then finally, I'm going to rotate this so I am going from here up to this dot here. So right about here. And then if I draw a line from here to here, let's do it in blue. Rotate this. So I'm at the other end of the three centimeter segment that I drew. And then finally, draw this up here. Okay. So what I'm saying is if I rotate this to 90 degrees, I bring this over here. This measures two centimeters. This is a height of two centimeters. When I draw the altitude or the height, and this has a height of two centimeters. Let me change to black. When I a dash line down here, rotate this like so, and draw a dash line out like here, and show that that is 90 degrees, show that that is 90 degrees, and show that that is 90 degrees. All three of these triangles have a base of three, a height of two, so they all have the same here. 3 times 2 is 6, half of 6 is 3. These all have an area that equals 3 centimeters squared. Okay, 
That is the end of lesson four. Go to your problem set.